So in this video, we will see how Webhavi can be used to scrape data from Silo. So the first step is to load the Silo website and search for the location from which you need to extract data. So we have reached the listings page in Silo which displays the properties. And if you scroll down this list, you can see that there are multiple pages. So let's start the configuration process. So before that, let's go to settings and just increase the script load wait time to 10 seconds. Now you may not need to do this, but this ensures that the data is scrapped without missing any property data. So let's apply and start configuration. And we will select the property address first. We can also select uh, the property price and also the MLS ID. And now let's follow each property detail to get some additional data. Now Silo aggressively blocks automated data extraction. So normally you could have just clicked on the address and used the follow this link option. But if this option is used, there is a high probability that mining will abort after a few rows of data and the CAPTCHA form will be displayed. So in order to overcome this limitation, instead of using the follow this link option, let's use the open pop-up feature and try to scrape the property details one after the other. Now wait for the property details to load and then we can uh, select the required data from this page. And in the property details page, it's recommended to use the capture following text option to select the data as far as possible. So for example, if you want to click uh, the agent or the owner contact details, you click on the heading text which appears before it and apply the capture following text option and then click on the capture text option. Likewise, we can get uh, the property details Or we can even get all these details by clicking on the fact and fe features and using the capture following text option. You can also get the price and tax history. Now if you want to select any specific data from inside this, you can either highlight the required portion using the mouse or apply a regular expression for example to get the price. You can do this now we need to close this form so for that uh, we're using to use uh, we're going to use JavaScript so click anywhere on the page and click on the run script option and just paste this code and you will find this code in the video description click apply and it will close the pop-up and go back to the listings page. Now we also need to set the next page link. So click on the link to load page number two and set it as the next page link. Now we can stop configuration and start mining. We can specify the number of pages to mine or just click on mine all pages. Now we probably will load the same page from which for which we created the configuration and will you know extract the selected data. It will also follow each property link to get additional data. So it's now pulling the address price and ID from the listing speech. And once that is done, it will follow each property link to open it details page and extract all these details. So since we used the open pop-up feature, the listings will be processed in a sequential manner one after the other.
So we hope you find this video useful. In case you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact our support at support at Thank you.